so glad you're with us. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to Boardwalk Hall at the famed Atlantic City Boardwalk in southern New Jersey. Our main event should be a good one tonight. Five rounds among heavyweights. Great atmosphere here tonight. You talk to everybody ringside, and they expect this one to be a barn burner. Well, they've been waiting for this moment, and now they get it. Round one underway. <laughs> Matchup tonight, power puncher against a guy who's well-conditioned. Now, early on, what do you look for in a matchup like that? You want to make sure that if you're with the power puncher, you don't go out there chasing after the guy. You use all your tools. You use your jab, and you control him. You make him think about your power so he's not controlling around. He has found his groove with his right hand. Do that again! Uppercut by Evander Holyfield. Huge uppercut by Tyson. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three minute round. Iron Mike with an iron right. Look at this, another power punch able to land. We're early on in this fight, he's going for it. Yeah, you wonder if he's got a call waiting outside. Now he brings the left hand upstairs. Mike Tyson's on the bad end of a very impressive hook up top. Iron Mike with a big uppercut. Oh, you need to block more. Final 10 seconds of round number one. And we come to the end of round number one. Evander Holyfield's got to wake up to the fact that he just lost that last round. And the reason he did was because he wasn't efficient. He wasn't accurate. Yeah, he was throwing punches. He wasn't landing them. No, he's throwing them from too far away. They're too wide. He needs to shorten them up, get into better range, and use that jab as a finder. Back to action here at the start of this round. Just part of what has been a very evenly fought fight. One of those fights that's going to be very hard to score. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counterpunching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. See him trying to cut down that tree with a well-placed right hand. Just a flash knockdown there, Teddy. Yeah, I think he's okay. He looks clear-headed. His legs are okay. Now it's just a matter of making sure that he understands why he got caught. Look at that! Wow, is this good stuff? What good stuff? He just scored the knockdown after being knocked out earlier. Joe, that's incredible. And the knockdown earlier actually set up this knockdown because his opponent, he got a little reckless, a little careless. So many people point to the downfall of Mike Tyson, but few remember how he would get up off the canvas time and time again in some of those toughest fights. Tyson's movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. Nice block. 
If that keeps up, this is going to be a good night. The right hand scored by Evander Holyfield. Tyson's really doing a fine job here, Teddy. I know everybody falls in love with the clean, effective punching, but you can make an argument that he's controlling this fight right now thanks to his head movement. Yeah, you know, it makes me think about that legendary story about the old great Willie Pep, the Will of the Wisp. There was a legend that he actually won a round without throwing a punch just by making his opponent miss, just by ring generalship. End of the round. So he scores the knockdown and now heads back to his corner. Teddy, do you ever have to calm a guy down after he scored a knockdown? That's a really great point because a lot of times that can be the turning point, but not for your guy that scored the knockdown, for the other guy. Because sometimes when you score a knockdown, you start to think it's going to be an easy night. And you forget what you knew when you came in. That wasn't going to be an easy night. You're going to have to bring all the tools out of the tool shed. And it's important to remember that. Caught you with your hands down. Box smart, not get caught. Box Halfway through this fight as this round gets underway here. But interesting so far. Who knows what we're in store for down the stretch. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. That is a classic Tyson uppercut. Tyson's trying to steady himself in this round after being knocked down in the previous round. Teddy. How much can really happen in those 60 seconds? How much of a benefit is it to a damaged fighter? Well, a lot has to happen. First of all, physically, you have to revigorate the guy. You know, maybe massage the legs a little bit. Most importantly, get some ice on the back of his neck. You know, get that blood flow going a little bit. Make sure that you revive him a little bit. Get him back to feeling like he's ready to go out there. He scores the knockout here tonight. A definitive ending to this bout. A Vander Holyfield's knockdown. Questions about his chin before this fight? Those questions. They've been answered. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitor. Have yourself a great night.